Albert Claude, the 24th of August 1899 to the 22nd of May 1983, was a Belgian medical doctor and cell biologist who shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1974 with Christian de Duve and George Emile Pallade. His elementary education started in a comprehensive primary school at Longlier, his birthplace. He served in the British intelligence service during the First World War, and got imprisoned in concentration camps twice. In recognition of his service, he was granted enrollment at the University of Liege in Belgium to study medicine without any formal education required for the course. He earned his Doctor of Medicine degree in 1928. Devoted to medical research, he initially joined German institutes in Berlin. In 1929 he found an opportunity to join the Rockefeller Institute in New York. At Rockefeller University he made his most groundbreaking achievements in cell biology. In 1930 he developed the technique of cell fractionation, by which he discovered the agent of the Roux sarcoma, components of cell organelles such as mitochondrion, chloroplast, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, ribosome and lysosome. He was the first to employ the electron microscope in the field of biology. In 1945 he published the first detailed structure of cell. His collective works established the complex functional and structural properties of cells. Claude served as director at Jules Bordet Institute for Cancer Research and Treatment and Laboratoire de Biologie Cellulaire et Cancérologie in louvain la neuve professor at Université Libre de Bruxelles, University of Brussels, Université Catholique de Louvain, and Rockefeller University. For his pioneering works he received the Louisa Gross Horwitz Prize in 1970, together with George Pallade and Keith Porter, the Paul Ehrlich and Ludwig Darmstadter Prize in 1971, and the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1974 with his student George Pallade and friend Christian de Duve. <laughs> Early life and education Albert Claude was born in 1899 but according to Civil Register 1898 in Longlier, a hamlet in Neufchateau, Belgium, to Florentine Joseph Claude and Marie Gladys Waterquant Claude. He was the youngest among three brothers and one sister. His father was a Paris-trained baker and run a bakery cum general store at Longlier Valley near Railroad Station. His mother, who developed breast cancer in 1902, died when he was seven years old. He spent his preschool life with his ailing mother. He started education in Longlier Primary School, a pluralistic school of single room, mixed grades, and all under one teacher. In spite of the inconveniences, he remarked the education system as excellent. He served as a bell boy, ringing church bell every morning at six. Due to economic depression the family moved to Athus, a prosperous region with steel mills, in 1907. He entered German speaking school. After two years he was asked to look after his uncle who was disabled with cerebral hemorrhage in Longlier. He dropped out of school and practically nursed his uncle for several years. At the outbreak of the First World War he was apprenticed to steel mills and worked as an industrial designer. Inspired by Winston Churchill, then British Minister of War, he joined the resistance and volunteered in British intelligence service in which he served during the whole war. At the end of the war he was decorated with the Interallied Medal along with veteran status. He then wanted to continue education. Since he had no formal secondary education, particularly required for medicine course, such as in Greek and Latin, he tried to join School of Mining in Liege. By that time Marcel Florken became head of the Direction of Higher Education in Belgium's Ministry of Public Instruction, and under his administration passed the law that enabled war veterans to pursue higher education without diploma or other examinations. As an honour to his war service, he was given admission to the University of Liege in 1922 to study medicine. He obtained his degree of Doctor of Medicine in 1928. Topic. Career. Claude received travel grants from Belgian government for his doctoral thesis on the transplantation of mouse cancers into rats. With this he worked his postdoctoral research in Berlin during the winter of 1928-1929, first at the Institut für Krebsforschung, and then at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Biology, Dahlem, in the laboratory of tissues culture of Professor Albert Fischer. Back in Belgium he received fellowship in 1929 from the Belgian American Educational Foundation Commission for Relief in Belgium, CRB, for research in the United States. 
He applied for the Rockefeller Institute now the Rockefeller University in New York, USA. Simon Flexner, then director, accepted his proposal to work on the isolation and identification of the ruse sarcoma virus. In September 1929 he joined the Rockefeller Institute. In 1930, he discovered the process of cell fractionation, which was groundbreaking in his time. The process consists of grinding up cells to break the membrane and release the cell's contents. He then filtered out the cell membranes and placed the remaining cell contents in a centrifuge to separate them according to mass. He divided the centrifuged contents into fractions, each of a specific mass, and discovered that particular fractions were responsible for particular cell functions. In 1938 he identified and purified for the first time component of Ruse sarcoma virus, the causal agent of carcinoma, as ribose nucleoprotein, eventually named RNA. He was the first to use electron microscope to study biological cells. Earlier electron microscopes were used only in physical researches. His first electron microscopic study was on the structure of mitochondria in 1945. He was given American citizenship in 1941. He discovered that mitochondria are the power houses of all cells. He also discovered cytoplasmic granules full of RNA and named them microsomes, which were later renamed ribosomes, the protein synthesizing machineries of cell. With his associate, Keith Porter, he found a lace work structure that was eventually proven to be the major structural feature of the interior of all eukaryotic cells. This was the discovery of endoplasmic reticulum a Latin for fishnet. In 1949, he became director of the Jules Bordet Institute for Cancer Research and Treatment Institute Jules Bordet and professor at the Faculty of Medicine of the University of Brussels Université Libre de Bruxelles, where he was emeritus in 1971. In the mid-60s during an electron microscopy symposium in Bratislava, Czechoslovakia, organized by the UNESCO at the Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences, he meets young scientist Dr. Emil M. Rina who was at that time head of the electron microscopy department. He invited him to come and work with him in Brussels, making it possible for Dr. Marina's family to escape the communist regime. Their close collaboration gave fruition to five publications from 1969 to 1974. With the support of his colleague and friend Christian de Duve, he became in 1972 professor at the Catholic University of Louvain, Université Catholique de Louvain and director of the Laboratoire de Biologie Cellulaire et Cancérologie in louvain la neuve where he moved with Dr. Émile M. Rina as sole collaborator. At the same time, he was appointed professor at the Rockefeller University, an institution with which he had remained connected, in different degrees, since 1929. Personal life He married Julia Gilder in 1935, with whom he had a daughter Philippa. They got divorced while at Rockefeller. Philippa became a neuroscientist and married Anthony Stretton. Claude was known to be a bit of an eccentric and had close friendship with painters, including Diego Rivera and Paul Delvo, and musicians such as Edgar Varese. After his retirement in 1971 from the University of Brussels and from the directorship of the Institute Jules Bordet, he continued his research at the Catholic University of Louvain with his collaborator Dr. Emile M. Rina, who ended up resigning in 1977 due to decreasing activity of the laboratory, moving to other research works. It is said that he continued his research in seclusion until he died of natural causes, at his home in Brussels, on Sunday night on the 22nd of May 1983, but he had stopped visiting his own laboratory in Louvain already in 1976 due to his weak health. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and recognitions Baron Halvoet Prize of the Fonds National de la Recherche Scientifique of Belgium in 1965 Louisa Gross Horwitz Prize in 1970 from Columbia University Paul Ehrlich and Ludwig Darmstadter Prize in 1971 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1974 with Palade and de Duve, for their discoveries concerning the structural and functional organization of the cell. Medal of the Belgian Academy of Medicine Member of the Royal Academies for Science and the Arts of Belgium Member of the French Academy of Sciences Honorary Member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences 
Order of the Palm Académiques of France Grand Cordon of the Order of Leopold II Honorary doctorates from the Universities of Modena, Brno, Liège, Louvain, Ghent, and the Rockefeller University References Further reading Reinberger, H. J. Cytoplasmic Particles in Brussels Jean Brachet, Hubert Chantren, Raymond Giener and at Rockefeller Albert Claude, 1935–1955. History and Philosophy of the Life Sciences. 19 47–67. PMID 9284642. Fruling, J. August 1994. Eulogy of Professor Albert Claude, Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology in 1974. Boll. Mem. A. C. A. D. R. Med. Belg. 149 466–9. PMID 8563685. Brachet, J. 1988. Notice sur Albert Claude, Associé de l'Académie. PDF. Annuaire de l'Académie Royale de Belgique, 93-135. Archived from the original PDF on 3 April 2017. De Duve, C. 1987. Albert Claude and the Beginnings of Modern Cell Biology. La Cellule, 74-11-9. PMID 3079269. Henry, J. 1984. Eulogy to Professor Albert Claude, Honorary Member of the Royal Academy. Boll. Mem. A. C. A. D. R. Med. Belg. 139, 3, 197-202. PMID 6388698. De Duve, C. Palade G. E. 1983. Albert Claude, 1899 1983. Nature. 304, 5927, 588. Bibcode, 1983 Notor.304, 588 d. doi, 10.1038-304588A0. PMID 6308471. Tagnan, H. June 1983. In Memoriam Professor. Albert Claude. Revue Médicale de Bruxelles, 4 6, 450-2. PMID 6348913. Olson, B.R., Lyso, December 1974. Nobel Prize in Medicine 1974. Albert Claude, George Palade, Christian de Duve. TIDSSKR. Nor, Lagiforin. 94 34-36, PMID 4614493. Florkin, M. October 1972. A Salute to Albert Claude. Arch. Int. Physial. Biochem. 84, 632-47. Doi 10.3109/13 quadrillion 813 trillion 457,209,075,254. PMID 4,120,117. Florkin M. December 1974. Homage to Albert Claude and Christian de Duve, Nobel Prize laureates in medicine and physiology, 1974. Arch. Int. Physial. Biochem. 82 5, 807-15. doi, 10.3109, 13 413 trillion 457,409,072,328. PMID 4,142,698. Palade, G. E. 1971. Albert Claude and the Beginnings of Biological Electron Microscopy. J. Cell Bile. 51, 5D 19D. doi, 10.1083, JCB, 50.1.5D. PMC 2,108,415. PMID 4,935,221.
Topic: External links. His list of publications on the Institutional Repository of Université Libre de Bruxelles. Nobel Prize autobiography. The official site of Louisa Gross Horwitz Prize. Biography at Biography. Com. Science quotes by Albert Claude. Profile at Rockefeller University.